This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 577 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by FeedXL.com, online nutrition software. Hello, Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is from Mandy Widrick. Mandy is an entrepreneur and business owner from New York State. She is the CEO of Charged Up Media, a social media marketing company, and enjoys teaching other entrepreneurs and business owners how to market online. Mandy is also creator of Horse Family, a blo- online blog-style magazine for equestrians. Today's tip, how to get great deals on smartphones. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Uh, poor Gypsy is suffering from horse envy. He's the new kid in the pasture and can't get over the stamina and shape of his fellow stallmates. Rumors around the barn point to Feed XL. It seems their owner has been online and discovered the Feed XL nutrition tool. That means Gypsy's in for a big transformation. The other horses have been telling Gypsy all about the changes made to their diet and how Feed XL has improved their overall well-being. When it comes to your horse's diet, conflicting advice can result in overfeeding and money wasted. With a Feed XL nutrition tool, enter your horse's weight, diet, and activity level to get started. It'll allow you to see where your horse's diet stands and give you the opportunity to revise it until it's balanced. Feed Excel has the latest science backing them up, allowing you to take charge of your horse's diet with an easy-to-use nutrition tool, taking the guesswork out of what to feed your horse. It's almost like Gypsy has his own personal nutritionist right at the barn. Visit FeedXL.com for a simple and easy nutrition tool to balance your horse's diet for optimum health. And now, enjoy today's tip. Welcome back, Mandy Widrick. What sort of social media super-duper handy tip have you got for us today? Today, we are going to talk about how to get special deals from Foursquare and Facebook, and we're really just going to talk about overall location-based services. So what that means is um, using some kind of application to check in when you are at some place. So if you go to a business and you check in on your phone, which means you you say to your social media friends, hey, this is where I'm at. And you can actually earn special deals and discounts by doing so. Ooh. So that's what we're going to talk about today. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, Jennifer, tell me what kind of phone you have. What kind of cell phone? Is it a smartphone? <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, it is. It's, <laughs> it's not considered a smartphone, but mm-hmm. I get mobile web on it, even though they don't call it a smartphone. But I, I can surf, but I can't... Um, Tweet. I can't tweet on mine. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I wanted to post something on a Facebook page, I can't. But I can read my Facebook page. Gotcha. Yeah. It's one gotcha. way. Yeah. Okay. So I'm a dinosaur. Might, it's, really I admit it. <laughs> it's really all going to depend on what kind of phone you have. So in most cases, it's, it's going to be somebody who has a smartphone that has the ability to download applications. So. Uh, for me, I have an iPhone. I have the iPhone 4 from last year, and I have installed on it a couple of different um, location-based services. So I have the, the Facebook app for my Facebook account, and I can check into different locations from Facebook. Or I use Foursquare, um, which is probably the application that I use the most. But before we really talk too much about either of them, I kind of want to address the, the, um, the, the thing that comes from many people when, when you ask them if they use location-based services, and that's like, why would I want to check in and tell everybody where I'm at? That's probably one of the biggest fears um, that I hear in response to location-based services like Foursquare and Facebook check-ins. Um, you know, why would I want to tell people where I am? Why would I want them to know? Isn't that, you know, some people say, isn't that unsafe? Um, from all of the research that I've done on location-based services, there really haven't been any problems with it. And if you don't want to tell people where you're at, um, there are ways to check in without telling everyone. So um, you can turn off your Facebook check-ins and, and not put it out to your friends there. And with Foursquare, you can actually just check in and show it to certain people that you want to see it, like your Foursquare friends. So there's different privacy settings that you can adjust if you're concerned about that. Huh. How about that? So... 
Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm very much of a social butterfly. I really don't mind if people know where I'm at. Um, so for Foursquare, we'll talk about Foursquare probably the most because that's the one that I use the most and I really like it. Um, and I think that there are more places to check in on Foursquare than there are on Facebook. Uh, and Foursquare also offers the ability to, to get deals, and you can do that on Facebook as well, but more so on, on Foursquare. So, so quick question. Mm-hmm. If you have the where am I part of your phone turned off, mm-hmm. do you still get to, can you still use that to get deals, or is that connected to the deal getter? Um, I had it turned off. <laughs> I had it turned off. So, the, like, if you've got an iPhone, most iPhone users will know um, that it'll you'll get a little pop up that says that the application wants to track your location. Um, most of the time, I say no that they can't track my location, um, just because I'm like eh, it doesn't really need to do that. Um, but for Square, I have it. I have everything turned on for that. Mm-hmm. But Facebook is not allowed to do it automatically or check in automatically for me anywhere. When I, when I go places. So um, there might be some settings that you do have to turn back on. I'm only an iPhone user, so I can't really speak for any other smartphone out there, um, like Android or anything like that. I've always been on the iPhone. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I would say make sure that your settings are adjusted so that you're able to check in. Cool. All righty. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just, that just popped into my head. I had to ask. No, good question, though. Good question. Um, so, so Foursquare, they've got the ability to use specials when you check in at locations. So let's say that I want to go to a place like Dunkin' Donuts. So Ooh, I now, like to go there. <laughs> now there you've hit on something that gets me excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I go to Dunkin' Donuts and I pull out my phone, I bring up the Foursquare application, and I search for all of the local places. So my phone immediately starts thinking and it's like and then it brings up on the screen and shows me all of these different locations that are right around my immediate area. And usually, like if I'm at Dunkin', normally that'll show up at the top of the list because that's the place I'm closest to, especially if I'm standing inside the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll click that, and I will select the check-in button. Now, when you check in in the location, it will show you whether or not they have a special there. Not all businesses have that because not all of them have caught on to the fact that they can utilize that as a marketing tool. Um but the businesses that have started utilizing Foursquare for the purpose of offering specials will offer some kind of cool discount. For example, let's say I did check in at Dunkin's. Let's say they had a special. When I check in on Foursquare, maybe I can earn a free donut. I like Boston cream donuts, so that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Boston cream, Jennifer? Boston cream donuts are are in the top ten best foods in the world <laughs> i <Yeah>. agree <laughs> absolutely don't be so, fooling around with it it needs to be a dunkin donut boston cream uh-huh exactly i don't think i ever get any other kind of donut that's always the one i get unless they're out then i'll pick something else usually chocolate <laughs> oh you're a chocolate gal okay yeah yeah <laughs> so i pull it up on my phone and there's this little um if that restaurant or whatever whatever business it is, if they are offering a discount, you'll see this little orange button on the check-in location that says special. And usually you can look at your list of nearby locations and you can see which one's offering discounts because they have that little orange, orange button on there that says special. And that means that that particular business is offering some kind of discount. Now, you might not necessarily get that discount the first time you check in. You might have to check in five times before you earn it. It really depends on how that business has set up their campaign in order to offer that deal to you. Hmm. So you're just randomly wandering down the street and walking to the five and dime, and you check in. Is there a way to tell when you walk into the five and dime if that particular place is something that offers specials? Do they have, like, stickers in the windows, or do you just randomly check in and see what's available? It depends on what they've decided to do to promote that special. Um, I've got a great example. I was at Walgreens uh, about a week ago, and on the sign of the door as I was walking in, it said, check in in Foursquare here for a chance to win a $200 certificate. So they were actually advertising their promotion right on their I can't remember if it was their door 
or if it was on their uh, their checkout counter, actually. They did have a Foursquare sticker on their door, but I don't know if that promoted the uh, hmm. deal that was going on. So, when you and did you win? Uh, it's just that the campaign's still going. So oh, every okay. time I check in at Walgreens, I get an entry into the contest, and they're going to draw a winner to, to get a $200 gift certificate. Oh, there you go. Good luck. So all of the campaigns are different, and you can promote it in different ways. But hmm. if you've got a business and you want to utilize it for that purpose, and you've got, like, say, a seed store, a tax store or something, um, I would recommend putting some kind of sticker or sign on the door somewhere. And when you claim your place on Foursquare, they'll actually send you a decal that can go on your window. So that's a cool way to, to encourage people to sign in. Yeah, well, that's a good idea to let people know that, it, especially if you're like a tax shop or, or a horse-related type store, people might not think, well, tax stores don't do that kind of stuff. Giant national mm-hmm. chains do that kind of stuff. But local sure. stores and locally owned businesses do it too. So it's a good idea to try and let your customers know that they should give it a try. Mm-hmm. Cool yeah, idea. I think, there's, I think there's a lot of potential there for business owners especially. So if you have a horse business, I think it's a great thing to take advantage of and definitely promote to, to your customers for sure. Uh, but Foursquare is one of those things where people say, oh, it's a waste of time. Um, now, I think it is a waste of time if you're not earning anything from it. <laughs> if you're just checking <laughs> in places that aren't offering specials, then maybe it is. Now, I use Foursquare for everything anyways just because I'm, I've been trying to figure out how it all works. Um, and I've just been experimenting with it. But there's definitely a lot of potential there. And there's a lot of businesses who have yet to utilize that as a marketing tool. But it's some good stuff. So I'd recommend looking into it. And for those of us who aren't computer savvy, we can grab somebody else's iPhone or Droid because we ourselves don't have one and just press that little button just to see what the heck's going on because it's fun. <laughs> True. <laughs> It's like a little tiny lottery. You press the little button and go, oh, look, they're offering a special next door. Let's go there. <laughs> That's what I do, to be honest. <laughs> when I go out to eat um, at restaurants, I immediately bring it up and I say, let's go here because they're offering a deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a great idea, especially when you're in a larger town where they're in a small area. It's like, well, sure, it's, it's one block away. Let's zip down there. Great idea. Um, yet another reason to borrow your significant other's uh, smartphone, and then mm-hmm. when you're done getting the deals, hand it back to them, <laughs> <laughs> which is what I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> I use it for the stuff. I use it for the fun stuff and make him do all the hard stuff on it. Uh huh. You know, the the app has a, an option for reviews too, so that's another reason I use it. I always look at the Facebook or not the Facebook, but the uh, the Foursquare tips and see what other people have said about the business. And um, I've used it quite a bit as of recently, especially at restaurants. I've tried. Uh, new new dishes and that kind of thing based on other recommendations. So that's pretty cool, too. Well, great ideas. Uh, the magic little get a deal, get a review button on your smartphone. Thank you, Mandy, for the, the special tip. And I'm going to give it a try on Glenn's phone. I'll let you know if we win the lottery or the $200 gift certificate to Walgreens. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See you around. <laughs> to listen to all of Mandy's tips, just go to horsetipdaily.com and go to the experts drop down menu on the left. You can also go to her Facebook page, just search Horse Family Magazine. And don't forget, support our sponsors here on Horse Tip Daily because they make these podcasts possible. Our sponsor today has been FeedXL.com. I just went on there last week and made sure that Beaker's diet is balanced. It's got all the right vitamins and minerals and all the right amounts of calories without any extras. And I know with great confidence that he will be fat and shiny come springtime because I went to FeedXL.com. Please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like us to cover on the show. You can subscribe to all of the great shows on the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zune and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zune, or MP3 player. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse! The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 